welcome to the zone. Today I'm going to show you how to install and start playing RPCS3, the PS3 emulator. Go to RPCS3.net. Now click the big white download button, scroll down until you see download binaries, and press download for Windows. Extract the file with WinRAR. Open RPCS3. Check I have read the guide and do not show again, and then continue. Go back to RPCS3.net and go to the quick start section. Scroll down. You will need to download the PlayStation 3 system update file. Click download now. Now move the PS3 update.pup into the RPCS3 folder. Open RPCS3 and go to file. Then install firmware. Choose the update file you just downloaded. After it installs the firmware, press OK. This will take a few minutes. Once it's done, you're going to need a game to play. RPCS3 only has 33% compatibility right now. So go back to rpcs3.net and then go to compatibility. You will now see a very easy to use compatibility list. I recommend you to sort by playable and see if the game you want is there or to find a game to play. Now that you know what you're looking for, there are two places I use to get games. psndl.net. The other is downloadgameps3.com. I will show you what I do on each of these sites. First, PSNDL, this is the easiest, but it is missing some games. Go to Packages and search for your game, then click it and download both the package and the wrap file. Some games do not have a wrap file. For DownloadGamePS3.com, you search for the game and then download all the parts separately. Now you have to install the game. If you downloaded the game in multiple RAR files, you will have to select all parts and extract it into the same folder. Now, move that folder into the HDD0 folder. If it is a disk, it will start with B, move it into the disk folder. If it is a PSN title, it will start with N, move it into the game folder. If you downloaded a .pkg and .rap file, all you have to do is drag and drop it into the RPCS3 window. After it installs, you can delete those files. Now, let's set up the controller. Go to Pads, and then Player 1. If you are using a PS4 controller, choose DualShock 4. If you are using an Xbox controller, choose X Input. Both of these should be set up by default, but if you want to change anything, just go to Configure. Before you launch the game, you're going to want to configure each game separately. You can find the best configuration in the compatibility section of RPCS3. Right click the game and go to Configure. Once you're done changing the settings, all you have to do is double click and launch the game. Hope you have fun with RPCS3. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.